here, and it is a real key that they use, and that's used to transition the launch sequence into automatic mode. And uh, the, we should be hearing reports, the range clear, the Soyuz rocket ready to begin its journey, five minutes, 20 seconds away from launch. And confirm the launch key is inserted. And again, for the crew, this is going to be a little under a nine-minute ride into orbit. Uh, all three stages together will burn for about eight minutes and 45 seconds. The first stage providing uh, the initial leg work. The core stage and the four strap-on boosters firing for about the first minute and a half, carrying the crew off the pad in Baikonur. So at this point, we're about four minutes and 15 seconds away from launch. Once the engines fire, you'll see that'll happen a few seconds before the liftoff, and they'll actually begin building up their thrust until they eventually overwhelm the counterweights holding the rocket in place. And they're the, the four arms at the bottom portion of the rocket. Just above in this view, you can see two other arms currently connected. Those are umbilicals. One will disconnect uh, just about 45 seconds before launch, and then the lower one will disconnect at about 15 seconds before launch. Oxidizer and fuel drain and safety valves of launch vehicle are closed. Ground filling of oxidizer and nitrogen to the vehicle is terminated. So at this point, the fuel flow to the vehicle has been terminated. The crew members closing their helmets, putting them on suit oxygen, and all the commander's cockpit displays and controls have been activated. All the onboard systems switch to onboard control. One of the other milestones is all the fuel lines and the other elements of the rocket are purged or basically uh, purged with nitrogen. So they use nitrogen to fireproof them, removing any excess vapors and fuel and oxidizer. Getting confirmation of the booster tank now being pressurized for flight. This helps to optimize the flow of that fuel and help and helps add some structural support to the rocket itself. We are two minutes, 15 seconds away from launch. The Soyuz spacecraft again sitting at the top. The Soyuz FG booster inside of that launch shroud, the launch uh, escape tower on the very top. The four strap-on boosters in the core stage will ignite in just a little under two minutes, we're one minute, 45 seconds away from launch. Again, you'll see the, the rockets ignite. They'll fire for a few seconds, and then once they're at their maximum thrust, they'll actually overpower all of those counterweights, and the Soyuz will lift off from pad number one in Baikonur. One minute, 30 seconds away from launch. Again, at this point, the propellant feed into the rocket has already been terminated, and the booster tank is pressurized for flight. And we are one minute and counting. Vehicle to internal power. So the vehicle now on internal power, and you can see that first umbilical breaking away.
And then when we see the second umbilical depart, you'll know it's 15 seconds away from the liftoff. Again, not tracking any issues with the vehicle, everything pointing to go, where it should be about 20 minutes, 20 seconds away from launch. Vehicle to internal power. Auto sequence initiated. Vehicle now on internal power. The launch command has been issued. You can see the rocket engines firing. Second umbilical tower. Power is going to start ramping up. Engine turbo pumps at flight speed. Engines at maximum. Turbo pumps at flight speed and lifts off. Sergey Rosansky. Randy Bresnik and Paolo Nespoli rocketing away from Baikonur and on their way to the International Space Station. And lift off. See the very bright first stage engines cutting across the night sky there in Baikonur. 25. 20 seconds. In the flight, all systems are running. Getting reports, everything running nominally or normally for the first stage, so getting good first stage performance so far. Soyuz delivering about 930,000 pounds of thrust with those four boosters and the single core engine. Is nominal. They're going to be burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Already passed one minute since liftoff. Velocity already approaching 1,100 miles per hour for the Soyuz spacecraft. Your pitch are nominal. Copy. 70 seconds into, long, into flight. Everything's nominal on board. And continuing to get good reports from the controllers in Baikonur. Everything looking good with the rocket so far as the first stage continues onwards. Into flight. Everything's nominal on board. Ninety seconds into flight, stage one and two thrusters are working nominally. So we roll pitch and you are nominal. And we have confirmation that the escape tower has been jettisoned, and there you can see the four strap-on boosters flying away, making something known as the Koryov Cross. The four strap-on boosters now detached. The first stage has done its job. And then the core stage of the second stage continuing to burn now. At this point, the rocket already 48 miles in altitude, traveling or rather 28 miles in altitude, the Soyuz traveling at over 3,300 miles per hour. 150 minutes in seconds and into flight. Second stage, thrusters are working nominally. And everything continuing to look good with the second stage. Getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer that the launch shroud, so that protective shroud around the Soyuz spacecraft has been jettisoned. So Soyuz now exposed during the additional climb to orbit. All parameters are nominal. At this point, a little over three minutes since launch, the Soyuz rocket traveling at a speed of over 4,700 miles per hour. For those just tuning in, we had a successful launch. Those lights you see coming back down are the strap-on boosters and the escape tower that de uh, detached from the rocket following a successful flight. Second stage, the core stage, continuing to perform as expected. That core stage, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter. And it has a single engine with four different fuel chambers and it provides between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on the altitude. And it's going to continue firing for about 3 minutes and 28 seconds of operation. And it burns until the 4 minute 43 second mark. And then we'll, uh, the Soyuz will use again what's known as a hot stage technique. So the third stage will actually ignite while the second is still burning. Thrusters are working nominally. View inside the cabin, you can see uh, things going very well for the rocket. The crew, uh, Paolo Nespoli here in the center of the screen, Sergey Rosansky in the bottom right corner of your screen. And then getting some animations now from Roscosmos, the Russian Federal Space Agency. Again, at this point, 
the vehicle still being controlled by the blockhouse, the control center in Baikonur. And then following separation from the third stage, control of the Soyuz spacecraft will get handed over to the Russian mission control just outside of Moscow. And we should be coming up on the third stage. And we've heard confirmation that the second stage has separated. So that core stage separating at an altitude of about 105 statute miles. The third stage now continuing the Soyuz climb into orbit. Getting away from Paolo Nespoli, he's in the right seat. And then Randy Brezignair at the top of your screen, Sergei Rosansky in the middle. 10 seconds in the flight, stability. Everything continuing to look good with the Soyuz rocket. Being propelled by that single engine of the third stage provides about 67,000 pounds of thrust and is going to burn for four minutes and two seconds. So this is the final part of the climb into orbit. The first and second stage is doing their job and dropping away. The third stage now going to continue. And again, this will burn until about eight minutes, 45 seconds following the liftoff. And right now we're at five minutes and 50 seconds. So just a couple of more minutes to go. And then we'll see the, the Soyuz spacecraft separate from the third stage, and it will be in orbit and on its way to the International Space Station. Roll taking you off, our nominal. Three hundred and eighty seconds into flight. Third stage thrusters are working nominally. Six minutes, 40 seconds since liftoff, still about two minutes of burning for this third stage engine. Again, just uh, the single core stage at this point. Uh, the vehicle uh, is, again, just about two minutes left. By the time the third stage cuts off, it'll be in an altitude of 125 statute miles over the Earth, and it'll deliver the Soyuz into orbit, and then it'll be uh, able to deploy the solar arrays and all the various antennas it'll need for the flight up to the International Space Station. But so far, everything going very well so far today. The team's not tracking any issues with the vehicle. The first and second stage performing flawlessly, actually giving us some pretty great views in the night sky over Kazakhstan as uh, the first and second stages dropped away. Seven and a half minutes into the flight. At this point, the Soyuz rocket actually traveling at almost 13,500 miles per hour, ultimately going to climb up to about 17,500 miles an hour, the speed the space station's traveling at, and then it'll begin its chase down of the vehicle. 470 seconds into flight. Third stage thrusters are working nominally. And so we're at about eight minutes into the flight, so just a little over 40 seconds now remaining of powered flight for the Soyuz rocket. We'll keep an eye in the cabin here as uh, you will see the astronauts get a bit of a jolt when that third stage cuts off and drops away. But once that's complete, they'll be in their preliminary orbit, be able to start chasing down the International Space Station. 500 seconds into flight. Five hundred ten seconds into flight. Roll pitch and yaw, our nominal. Parameters are nominal as well. And there you see the crew members getting a bit of a jolt. That signifying the third stage has cut off. Getting the confirmation here that it has indeed separated. And I am handing you over. And so there we have it. Sergey Rosansky, Randy Bresnik, and Paolo Nespoli in orbit. Their Soyuz spacecraft now about 125 miles over planet Earth. Guys. We read you the third stage performance, performs an avoidance maneuver and then drops away. All right, work for page 35. 
and getting confirmation from the visiting vehicle officer. All of the antennas and the solar arrays have been deployed, so that always a good sign. The Soyuz now going to orbit at this altitude that's going to be raised over the next six hours uh, by a series of different burns to place it in close proximity to the International Space Station. But a flawless launch, a flawless opening of the, all of those antennas and arrays. The crew now in orbit control of the spacecraft from here on out will be overseen from the Russian Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow. But uh, a very happy Rosansky, Bresnik, and Nespoli obviously in space and on their way towards the International Space Station. And you will be sending the RDR, RDR command via Karel command, command data link in 10 seconds. 